Hi guys, today's devotional is um, really just to remind you that you are stronger than you think. So in life, generally, um, we go through trials, we go through difficult times and in those moments we can be tempted to just uh, focus on our weaknesses, focus on our inadequacy, focus on the fact that we are small in comparison to the situation and really sort of just look down on ourselves in terms of how we can actually bring a solution. Um, the good thing about feeling weak or inadequate or fearful, um, kind of like the times that we're in now, is that we're in good company. Uh, throughout the Bible, there have been many, many examples. God has used many examples um, of people who he or you would deem to have been weak or have been the least or just rejected. Um, and he uses them to fulfill his purposes throughout scripture. We've got people like um, Moses, we've got Gideon, Rahab, um, even Esther. Um, these are all people who probably in their own eyes were not strong, were not uh, 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 adequate and probably, you know, would focus on their own weaknesses. Um, really, this is just an encouragement to say, don't look at your strength, especially in this season, um, because your strength will fail. But the good thing about that is that the Bible lets us know um, that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. In our main text today, um, in the scripture that I'm focusing on, it is 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. And basically, um, Paul, God told Paul, he says, like, your strength, basically my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Um, and so even when we feel small in comparison to the situations around us, um, right now, particularly, uh, we, you might feel sort of like, what can I do in this situation? You know, I'm just one person in comparison to this global uh, 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 pandemic. Um, <clears throat> God basically reminds us that actually you're in a good place because in that moment, my strength is made perfect um, and I can work with you. <clears throat> when we look at what that practically means, um, strength really is not about what you look like or what you feel feel it's about what you can do like even if you look in the physical strength is actually about what your body can do and not necessarily about how it looks um, it's about what your body can endure so likewise as a christian in the spirit as well in the spirit realm we're looking at what we've been called to do and what we're empowered to do um, rather than what we feel like or what it looks like if you go further down in that same scripture so he, he actually just says that you know, his power so that his power can rest on us most gladly therefore i would rather glory in my infirmities that the power of christ may rest upon me the power of christ rest upon us even in our weaknesses that's that would be um an oxymoron in this world because it's like how can you how can you have power in your weakness well that's what god is saying to us there um and practically you know what does it mean for us now it means not giving up it means persevering it means hanging in there when everybody is 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 continuing to talk about the gloom and it's so tempting to just throw your own two pence in there about the negativity about this and about the toll you know counting the death toll here and all sorts of things it's even beyond what we're going on what's going on currently right now um strength is about holding on you know even in the physical you know Strength is about resisting that that uh, that um, feeling of giving up or quitting and, and just persevering that little bit longer. Um, this time right now that we're facing, basically, God wants to use it to strengthen us. He wants to use it almost as resistance training, um, basically to grow us. And we can grow in this in, and we can be strengthened in this time. It's overwhelming, yes, it's hard work, but just like, you know, when you go to the gym or you're working out, you persevere through, um, there's a reward at the end of it. Um, when we're going through this, we know that actually greater is he that is in us than he is in the world. And not only is he that is in us, he that surrounds us, he that is fighting for us, and he that is dedicated to our betterment. You know, he's, we're not by ourselves in this, we're not alone. Um, like I said, he wants to strengthen us in this time. He wants to build us up. He wants to, um, according to even the scriptures, um, he wants to give us power. 
um, if you read Isaiah 40 verse 29, when he says he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. He gives us strength um, so that we are we are strong for the work that he wants us to do. Um, if you're going through this time right now and you're wondering, how can I build my strength? Like, how can I grow? How can I not succumb to everything around me? Think about it in, even in this physical, you know, we, we say things like do daily exercise. We say consume the right things. And we say um, even like resistance training, like I mentioned earlier on. So those are things like doing a daily exercise. The, the key word there is the daily part. Do it however small, however great, little by little daily. Second thing is consuming the right things. What are you allowing to enter into your spirit? What are you allowing to, to be around you? Are you listening to the, the, the podcast and the good news of peace, Sam? Are you taking part in the master life? These are the things that you need to be consuming. And then, the like we said, the resistance training. Are you pushing yourself beyond what you're normally comfortable with? Are you pushing yourself with, you know, with your prayer? Are you pushing yourself with your, with your quiet time? Are you pushing yourself seeking God? Because in that resistance, in that training, even as we're in this climate now, you'll be surprised what you can do and what you actually have in you. Um, like I said, this is just to remind you that you are actually stronger than you think. Um, God knows it. <laughs> the enemy knows it. And that's why he throws a lot at you, but you're stronger than you think. Um, remember according to his scripture his strength is made perfect in our weakness that his power may rest upon us we have work to do let's go in his strength in this week let's encourage ourselves um yeah god bless you